try, I was going to try to like come in like hype, like, yeah, Thursday night. But guys, honestly, if you're watching this right now, you've made it to Thursday night. Uh, it's time for the Thursday night beer review, mm -hmm. courtesy of Three Crafty Bastards. And I got something on deck. Honestly, I've been sitting on this beer for mm, maybe since like last August, September, somewhere around there. Uh, and I wanted to try to save it so that Mr. Classic and I could try it together. Well, it turns out he's not a fan of the flavor, some of the flavors that are incorporated with this beer. So if you saw earlier, I said I was going to do a Duke Claw beer. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, <clears throat> so I had to pull this out of the back of the fridge. I prepped a little bit. But like I said, if you're watching this, a little palate cleanser for you. Salute, man. You made it to Thursday. You're almost there. Hang in there. So, if you've ever seen any of our beer reviews, uh, you know that we're fans of Duclaw Beer, man. They're out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, they do a variety of beers, including like the Pastriarchy series. Some of the more notable ones is uh, a candy cane, like peppermint style stout. Uh, they have a, a brown ale that is waffle cone, uh, an oat milk stout ew one or the other i have it it's in there uh they do ipas uh just everything one of the things that they did last summer was they did this sour me series and i'm sure there's various beers but the probably the most notable one and we did review it was the rocket pop sour uh which was basically like a bomb pop you remember when the ice cream man used to come around and you get 75 cents from your mom. I'm aging myself right now. I'm dating myself because I guarantee you ain't getting shit from the ice cream man for 75 cents now. But you get the rocket pop, man, the red, white, and blue, the mom pop. And it, it was it was okay, man. It was good. Uh, it was what it said it was. It was definitely a sour. So it eh, really kind of hit or miss for me. So the one that I got tonight, let's go ahead and pull this guy out of the fridge that I have been waiting on to review is Duclaw Brewing's Sour Meat Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Sour. So it's an ale, it says it's an ale, but it's part of the Sour Meat series, uh, but it's strawberry puree, rhubarb puree, and lactose. We'll see. So Mr. Classic, of course, we're talking about it. And I'm like, dude, we got to do this beer, man. I've been sitting on this beer forever. And he's like, ah, oh, man, rhubarb is pretty gross. So you don't necessarily have to wait. So I thought, okay, what a great week. Mr. Classic's off this week. I'm here doing the beer review. We're going to go ahead and get this rolling, right? So what do I expect going into this? Well, with lactose, I expect it to be kind of dense, uh, maybe like a, a medium body. Uh, the rhubarb, I'm not sure what to expect, and I'm hoping that the strawberry puree kind of takes the edge off what the rhubarb is supposed to be. Uh, I'm really curious about the color, seeing as that it's a sour. Typically with your strawberry beer, strawberry beers or strawberry flavored beers, uh, you've got like a light pink tint to sometimes a darker pink tint, depending on what type of strawberry beer it is. So without further ado, let's give this guy a pour right here. I can see Mr. Classic's on right now. So, yeah, we're doing the uh, strawberry rhubarb pie sour me. Uh, initially, from here, I can smell that it's strawberry. I don't smell very much rhubarb. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. Uh, we're just going to go for it. So it's sour, uh, which was expected, seeing as that it's part of the Sour Me series. Uh, I've never really taken a bite of rhubarb, maybe. <laughs> it's not that bad, dude. So Mr. Classic, of course, comments and says, oh, it's gross. So I've never really like taken a bite of rhubarb. I know that rhubarb in flavor is pretty tart. And when they put it in pies, that's kind of what it is. It's like a, a tart style pie. So it's kind of expected that it, the beer is going to be tart or or sour. It does, I, I admit, it does have a little bit of that sour 
vomit aftertaste. So to me, some people love sours, man. And like I said, they're really hit or miss. Sometimes you get some really good ones that the flavor kind of takes away from the, uh, the sour backdrop of it. Uh, and other times the, the sour backdrop of it really just tastes like vomit, man. And it's just not, it's no good for anybody. But this particular one, you get a little bit of that, that sour on the end of it. If they were to do this beer, uh, it's just like a straight ale. It would be delicious. Uh, even if it was a strawberry rhubarb ale or a strawberry rhubarb stout or a strawberry rhubarb IPA, I think it would be more delicious than what it is now. It's not terrible. It's definitely a novelty beer, meaning that it's one. It's one and done. Uh, it's just kind of for flavor. It's just so that you can say you tried it, uh, share it with friends. I'm definitely going to share this with, with my best friend upstairs once this is all said and done. Uh, drinkability, it's there. The only hang up on the drinkability of it uh, is that aftertaste. So uh, it, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, as far as it being what it says it is, it is. It 100% is. Uh, I don't necessarily get like the rhubarb, but I don't know what rhubarb flavor is as it pertains to beer going into it. I only know the flavor of like rhubarb pie, like who eats rhubarb by itself. So uh, texture, it's got good texture. Drinkability, uh, kind of in the middle. You really are only going to drink one and then you're going to be over this and you're going to be onto something that's a little more drinkable. Uh, so if I had to rate it on a scale of one to five, uh, man, I got to give this guy, even though I've sat on it for, you know, nine months, I got to give this guy like a, a three. And I think a three is being generous. The only reason that I'm giving it a three is because the strawberry flavor is prominent in the forefront. It's just that sour aftertaste that the sour aftertaste, that's what it is. The sour aftertaste is what gets me. So I'm going to give it a three. I'm going to say it's mid. It's a good beer to share with your friends uh, as like a try it once. Uh, it's a great novel to beer. I'm, I'm not disappointed that I picked it up, but would I buy it again? The uh, chances are no. So in true gladiator fashion, as we always do about this time, and this honestly, I'm going to take one more drink just to be sure. This honestly breaks my heart, but three, two, one, I got to give it a thumbs down, man. Uh, it's not very often that I give a beer a thumbs down. I really can't hold the fact that it's a sour against it because that's my personal preference. But uh, I feel like they could have gone even heavier on the strawberry, even though that flavor is in the forefront and maybe kind of dialed the sour down a scotch. Uh, so, like, it's not bad. I mean, I hate to badmouth the beer, man. I've definitely had some terrible beers. If you saw my Facebook page, the worst beer that I've ever tried is on my Facebook page today. It came up in my memories. This definitely is not that. But it's definitely not one of the better beers I've had. If you're a fan of sour or uh, if you like that tartness, then this beer is for you, man. You definitely want to see if you can pick it up still. Like I said, I got this late last summer, so uh, <laughs> I got this late last summer, so I've been sitting on this for a while. I was waiting for the right opportunity, but turns out Mr. Classic doesn't like rhubarb, and I, you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure he's going to be glad that he sat this one out. So, rated a three. I'll put it on untapped. I'll try to share it from there, uh, and I got to give it a thumbs down, unfortunately. Hopefully, we'll bounce back next week with a, a better flavor, better taste in beer, something more popping and actually I got I got it I got it I got the beer for you to say that I collect beers from Dew Claws and understand it because every time I see it if I can pick it up I do so maybe next week when I got Mr. Classic here we'll hit this uh this Mexican hot chocolate brown ale right here that's also from Dew Claw from their pastry series which has never disappointed uh with that being said it's shout out time so one more drink. Let me see if I can do this. Mm. 
Wow. So check us out. Three Crafts of Bastards. You can catch us on Facebook. We got a Facebook page. You can check us out on YouTube. Uh, we definitely have past uh, shows and, and beer reviews and uh, things that we've done with various people. Uh, it's a lot of fun. We're kind of funny sometimes. So check us out. Next plug, Juan Cordero Jr., a.k.a. John Smith, a.k.a. Juan Cordero, a.k.a. Mr. Brews and Views 1.1. He's doing his thing. He's doing beer reviews. Uh, I don't know what day he does his beer reviews. I feel bad about that. But he releases his podcast on Thursdays, same day that we do our beer reviews. So uh, you can check him out on Instagram. I think you can check him out on Snap. You can definitely check him out on uh, Facebook. You can check him out on all streaming platforms, man. He's recording podcasts over at Sweetwater. He's doing his thing there. So uh, also check out uh, Pull Up Pour Up Podcast. That's Leo Mills, Austin Green. They release their shows on Monday around noon. Uh, if you're a follower of me, you can always go and check them out because I always share their stuff. Same as Bridge and Views 1.1, man. I'm always sharing their stuff, man, because we want to we want to show love to the people uh, that are that really enjoy doing things like this. So check them out as well. And then last but not least, Josh Parker, Unique Beats. I think his studio is done or his, uh, yeah, his recording studio is done. So like he's doing his thing, I think down in Wabash, possibly. So check him out, man. Unique Beats. He's always uh, dropping things periodically throughout the week. I tend to try to share those as well, man. So show him some love as well. With that being said, like I said, man, you made it to Thursday. You got one more day to go. Uh Three Crafty Bastards, we out. Cheers. Stay safe. Stay crafty.